The Piper J-3 Cub is a small, simple, light aircraft that was built between 1937 and 1947 by Piper Aircraft. With tandem seating, it was intended for flight training but became one of the most popular and best-known light aircraft of all time. The Cub's simplicity, affordability and popularity are Euro as well as its large production numbers, with nearly 20,000 built in the United States a Euro invokes comparisons to the Ford Model T automobile. The aircraft's standard chrome yellow paint has come to be known as a Euro OE Cub Yellow Euro or Lock Haven Yellow. Pre-war, the Taylor E2 Cub first appeared in 1930, built by Taylor Aircraft in Bradford, Pennsylvania. Sponsored by William T. Piper, a Bradford industrialist and investor, the affordable E-2 was meant to encourage greater interest in aviation. Later in 1930, the company went bankrupt, with Piper buying the assets but keeping founder C. Gilbert Taylor on as president. In 1936, an earlier Cub was altered by employee Walter J. Manu to become the J-2 while Taylor was on sick leave when he saw the redesign. Taylor was so incensed that he fired Jamin New. Piper, however, had encouraged Jamin New's changes, and hired him back. Piper then bought Taylor's share in the company, paying him $250 per month for three years. Although sales were initially slow, about 1,200 J-2s were produced before a fire in the Piper factory ended its production in 1938. After Piper moved his company from Bradford to Lock Haven, the J-3, which featured further changes by Jamin New, replaced the J-2. The changes mostly amounted to integrating the vertical fin of the tail into the rear fuselage structure and covering it simultaneously with each of the fuselage's sides, changing the rearmost side window's shape to a smoothly curved half-oval outline, and placing a true steerable tail wheel at the rear end of the J-2's leaf spring-style tail skid linked for its steering function to the lower end of the rudder with springs and lightweight chains to either end of a double-ended rudder control horn. Powered by a 40-horsepower engine, in 1938, it sold for just over $1,000. A number of different air-cooled engines, most of flat for configuration, were used to power J-3 Cubs, resulting in differing model designations for each type. The J-3C models used the Continental A-Series. The J-3F used the Franklin 4AC, and the J-3L used the light coming 0145. A very few examples, designated J-3P, were equipped with Lenate Papoose three-cylinder radial engines. The outbreak of hostilities in Europe in 1939, along with the growing realization that the United States might soon be drawn into World War II, resulted in the formation of the Civilian Pilot Training Program. The Piper J-3 Cub became the primary trainer aircraft of the CPTP and played an integral role in its success, achieving legendary status. 75% of all new pilots in the CPTP were trained in Cubs. By war's end, 80% of all United States military pilots had received their initial flight training in Piper Cubs. The need for new pilots created an insatiable appetite for the Cub. In 1940, the year before the United States' entry into the war, 3,016 Cubs had been built. Wartime demands soon increased that production rate to one Cub being built every 20 minutes. Flitfire Prior to the United States entering World War II, J-3s were part of a fundraising program to support the United Kingdom. Builders of Flitfire, a Piper Cub J-3 bearing Royal Air Force insignia was donated by W.T. Piper and Franklin Motors to the RAF Benevolent Fund to be raffled off. Piper distributors nationwide were encouraged to do the same. On April 29, 1941 all 48 Flitfire aircraft, one for each of the 48 states that made up the country at that time, flew into La Guardia Field for a dedication and fundraising event which included Royal Navy officers from the battleship HMS Malaya, in New York for repairs, as honored guests. At least three of the original flit fires have been restored to their original silver-doped finish. One, powered with a Franklin 65 engine, is on display at the North Carolina Aviation Museum in Asheboro, North Carolina. This flit fire was flown by Orville Wright in a war bond promotion campaign. World War II service. The Piper Cub quickly became a familiar sight. 
First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt took a flight in a J-3 Cub, posing for a series of publicity photos to help promote the CPTP. Newsreels and newspapers of the era often featured images of wartime leaders, such as Generals Dwight Eisenhower, George Patton and George Marshall, flying around European battlefields in Piper Cubs. Civilian-owned Cubs joined the war effort as part of the newly formed Civil Air Patrol, patrolling the eastern seaboard and Gulf Coast in a constant search for German U-boats and survivors of U-boat attacks. Piper developed a military variant, variously designated as the O-59, L-4, and N-E. The L-4 Grasshopper was mechanically identical to the J-3 civilian Cub, but was distinguishable by the use of a Plexiglas greenhouse skylight and rear windows for improved visibility, much like the Taylorcraft L-2 and Erinka L-3 also in use with the U.S. Armed Forces. Carrying a single pilot and no passenger, the L-4 had a top speed of 85 miles per hour, a cruise speed of 75 miles per hour, a service ceiling of 12,000 feet, a stall speed of 38 miles per hour, an endurance of 3 hours, and a range of 225 miles 5,413 L-4s were produced for U.S. forces, including 250 built for the U.S. Navy under contract as the NE-1 and NE-2. All L-4 models, as well as similar, tandem cockpit accommodation aircraft from Aeronca and Taylor Craft, were collectively nicknamed a Euro OE Grasshopper Seguro, though the L-4 was almost universally referred to by its civilian designation of Cub. The L-4 was used extensively in World War II for reconnaissance, transporting supplies, artillery spotting duties, and medical evacuation of wounded soldiers. During the Allied invasion of France in June 1944, the L-4's slow cruising speed and low-level maneuverability a Euro alongside examples of the Oster AOP aircraft occasionally used by the British Army and other Commonwealth forces for the same purposes a Euro made it an ideal observation platform for spotting hidden German tanks, Sturmgeschir one quarter TZ and Jagd Panzer tank destroyers waiting in ambush in the Hedge Road Bokage country south of the invasion beaches. For these operations the pilot generally carried both an observer radio operator and a 25-pound communications radio, a load that often exceeded the plane's specified weight capacity. After the Allied breakout in France, L-4s were also sometimes equipped with improvised racks, usually in pairs or quartets, of infantry bazookas for ground attack against German armoured units. The most famous of these L-4 ground attack planes was Rosie the Rocketeer, piloted by Major Charles Bazooka Charlie Carpenter, whose six bazooka rocket launchers were credited with eliminating six enemy tanks and several armored cars during its wartime service, especially during the Battle of Arakut. After the war, many L-4s were sold as surplus, but a considerable number were retained in service. L-4s sold as surplus in the U.S. were redesignated as J-3s, but often retained their wartime glazing and paint. Postwar. An icon of the era, and of American general aviation in general, the J-3 Cub has long been loved by pilots and non-pilots alike, with thousands still in use today. Piper sold 19,073 J-3s between 1938 and 1947, the majority of them L-4s and other military variants. Postwar, thousands of grasshoppers were civilian registered under the designation J-3. Hundreds of cubs were assembled from parts in Canada, Denmark and Argentina, and by a licensee in Oklahoma. In the late 1940s, the J-3 was replaced by the Piper PA-11 Cub Special, the first Piper Cub version to have a fully enclosed cowling for its power plant and then the Piper PA-18 Super Cub, which Piper produced until 1981 when it sold the rights to WTA Incorporated. In all, Piper produced 2,650 Super Cubs. The Super Cub had a 150-horsepower engine which increased its top speed to 130 miles per hour. Its range was 460 miles. Korean War Service the L-4 was used extensively by both U.S. and South Korean air forces in the early 1950s. During the Korean War, the L-4 saw service in many of the same roles it had performed during World War II, such as artillery spotting, forward air control, and reconnaissance. 
some L4s were fitted with a high back canopy in order to carry a single stretcher for medical evacuation of wounded soldiers. Modern production. Modernized and up-engined versions are produced today by Cub Crafters of Washington and by American Legend Aircraft in Texas, as the Cub continues to be sought after by Bush pilots for its STOL capabilities, as well as by recreational pilots for its nostalgia appeal. The new aircraft are actually modeled on the PA-11, though the Legend Company does sell an open cow version with the cylinder heads exposed, like the J-3 Cub. An electrical system is standard from both manufacturers. The J-3 is distinguished from its successors by having a cowl that exposes its engine cylinder heads a euro the exposed cylinders of any J-3's engine were usually fitted with sheet metal eyebrow air scoops to direct air over the cylinder's fins for more effective engine cooling and flight. There are very few other examples of flat aircraft engine installations in which the cylinder heads are exposed. From the PA-11 on through the present Super Cub models, the cowling surrounds the cylinder heads. A curiosity of the J-3 is that when it is flown solo, the lone pilot normally occupies the rear seat for proper balance, to balance the fuel tank located at the firewall. Starting with the PA-11, and some L-4s, fuel was carried in wing tanks, allowing the pilot to fly solo from the front seat. Variants Equals Civil Variants equals J-3, equipped with a Continental F-40, a 40-2 or A-40-3 engine of 37 horsepower, or A-40-4 engine of 40 horsepower, J-3C-40, certified July 14, 1938 and equipped with a Continental F-40-4 or A-40-5 of 40 horsepower, J-3C-50, certified July 14, 1938 and equipped with a Continental of 50-1 or A-40-2-9 of 50 horsepower, J-3C-50. S. Certified July 14, 1938 and equipped with a Continental of 50-1 or A40-2-9 of 50 horsepower equipped with optional float kit. J3C65. Certified July 6, 1939 and equipped with a Continental of 65-1 or A65-3, 6, 7, 8, 8F, 9 or 14 of 65 horsepower or an A65-14. Continental A75-8, A75-8-9 or A75-12 of 75 horsepower or Continental A85-8 or C85-12 of 85 horsepower or Continental A90-8F of 90 horsepower. J3C 65S, certified May 27, 1940 and equipped with a Continental A65-1 or A65-3, 6, 7, 8, 8F. 9 or 14 of 65 horsepower or an A65-14, Continental A75-8, A75-8-9 or A75-12 of 75 horsepower or Continental A85-8 or C85-12 of 85 horsepower or Continental A90-8F of 90 horsepower equipped with optional float kit. J3F50 Certified July 14, 1938 and equipped with a Franklin 4AC-150 Series 50 of 50 horsepower, J3F50S, certified July 14, 1938 and equipped with a Franklin 4AC-150 Series 50 of 50 horsepower equipped with optional float kit. J3F60, certified April 13, 1940 and equipped with a Franklin 4AC-150 Series A of 65 horsepower or a Franklin 4AC-171 of 60 horsepower, J3F60S, certified May 31, 1940 and equipped with a Franklin 4AC-150 Series A of 65 horsepower or a Franklin 4AC-171 of 60 horsepower equipped with optional float kit, J3F65. Certified August 7, 1940 and equipped with a Franklin 4AC-176B2 or a Franklin 4AC-176BA2 of 65 horsepower, J3F65S, certified January 4, 1943 and equipped with a Franklin 4AC-176B2 or a Franklin 4AC-176BA2 of 65 horsepower equipped with optional float kit, J3L. 
certified September 17, 1938 and equipped with a Lightcoming 0145A1 of 50 horsepower or a Lightcoming 0145A2 or A3 of 55 horsepower, J3LS, certified May 2, 1939 and equipped with a Lightcoming 0145A1 of 50 horsepower or a Lightcoming 0145A2 or A3 of 55 horsepower equipped with optional float kit. J3L65 Certified May 27, 1940 and equipped with a Lightcoming 0145B1, B2 or B3 of 65 horsepower, J3L65S, certified May 27, 1940 and equipped with a Lightcoming 0145B1, B2 or B3 of 65 horsepower equipped with optional float kit. J3P, variant powered by a 50 horsepower Lenape LM3-50 or Lenape AR3-163 cylinder radial engine. J3R, variant with slotted flaps powered by a 65 horsepower Lenape LM3-65 engine. J3X, 1944 variant with cantilever wing powered by a 65 horsepower Continental A65-8 engine. Commander 1 a French conversion of J-3 Cub L-4 aircraft. Poulin J-5A, 5L-4 Cubs converted by Jean Poulin for specialist tasks. Poulin J-5B, a single L-4 Cub converted by Jean Poulin for specialist tasks. Wagner Twin Cub, a twin fuselage conversion of the J-3. Equals military designations and variants equals, Yo-59, 4 U.S. Army Air Corps Test and Evaluation J-3C-65 O-59, production version for the USAAC 140 built later redesignated L-4 O-59A, improved version, powered by a 65 horsepower Continental O-170-3 piston engine 948 built, later redesignated L-4A, L-4 Redesignated O59 and O59. L4A, redesignated O59A, L4B, as per L4A, but without radio equipment. 980 built. L4C, 8 Impress J3L65s, first two originally designated UC83A, L4D, 5 Impress J3F65s. L4 Hours as per L4B but with improved equipment and fixed pitch propeller, 1801 built. L4J, L4 hours with controllable pitch propeller, 1680 built. UC83A, 2 impressed J3L65s, later redesignated L4C. TG8, 3C training glider variant, 250 built. LNP, United States Navy designation for three TG-8s received. NE-1, United States Navy designation for dual control version of J-3C-65, 230 built. NE-2, as per NE-1 with minor equipment changes, 20 built. Operators. Equals civil operators equals, the aircraft has been popular with flying schools a euro especially from the pre-World War II existence of the civilian pilot training program using them in the United States a euro, and remains so with private individuals, into the 21st century. Equals military operators equals, Brazil, Brazilian Air Force, Republic of Korea, Republic of Korea Air Force, Paraguay, Military of Paraguay, L4, United Kingdom, Royal Air Force. Thailand, Royal Thai Air Force, United States, United States Air Force, United States Army, United States Army Air Forces, United States Navy. Specifications Data from the Piper Cub Story, General Characteristics, Crew, 1 Pilot, Capacity, 1 Passenger, Length, 22 feet 5 inches, Wingspan, 35 feet 3 in, Height, 6 feet 8 in, Wing area, 178.5 FTA squared, empty weight, 765 pounds, useful load, 455 pounds, max takeoff weight, 1,220 pounds, power plant, 1A, Continental A65-8 air-cooled horizontally opposed four-cylinder, 65 horsepower at 2,350 RPMs, performance, maximum speed, 76 kN, Cruise speed, 
65. KN, range, 191 nanometers, service ceiling, 11,500 feet, rate of climb, 450 feet per minute, wing loading, 6.84 pounds FTA squared, power mass, 18.75 pounds per horsepower. See also Related development, American Legend AL3C100, Cub Crafter CC11-100 Sport Cub S2, Lipnabil Ilang, Maroing 1L Malamut, Piper J2, Piper PA15 Vagabond, Piper PA16 Clipper, Piper PA20 Pazer, Piper PA18 Super Cub, Wag Aero Cubi, Wag Aero Sport Trainer, Aircraft of Comparable Role, Configuration and Era, Aeronca Champ, Fissila V156 Torch, Kit Fox Model 5, Taylorcraft BC65, Taylorcraft L2, Aeronca L3, American Eagle Eaglet 31, Related Lists, List of Aircraft of World War II. References External Links Fixed Wing Piper Up DMOZ, Fiddler's Green History of the J3, Piper Aircraft, Incorporated History, Brief Timeline of the History of Piper Aircraft, Starting with the Piper Cub, Sentimental Journey, Annual Fly-In of Piper Cubs held in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania, T.O. Number 1 to 140 Dar 1 Pilots Flight Instructions L4A and L4B Airplanes. 01-140 DA to Erection and Maintenance Instructions for Airplanes Army Models L4A, L4B, L4 Hours, and L4J British Model Piper Cub.